welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you saw my most recent YouTube video, you would know that I am restarting my YouTube channel and I'm going to start posting some videos about animal care. I have decided to make a video today on how to soak or bathe your crested gecko. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it. I have three geckos, Napoleon, Dynamite, and Pedro. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. They totally were not made, named after the movie Napoleon Dynamite. Not at all. My geckos always think it's a brilliant idea to walk in their food dish. I don't know. They're, they're smart, I swear. These geckos are arboreal, meaning they live in the trees, so they have little hairs on their feet that allow them to climb on vertical surfaces. But when they get food all over their feet, they can no longer do that, and whenever they try to climb, they just end up sliding down it super gracefully. It's really hard to watch. So in order to help your crested gecko, you guys can give them a soak. It's not necessarily a soak like what you would give a bearded dragon or a leopard gecko, but it has a pretty similar idea. So I'm just going to get right into showing you guys what that looks like. Also, if your gecko just shed and he has a really hard time getting the rest of the shed off of him, these soaks can be super helpful for that. Okay guys, hopefully y'all can hear me pretty well because I'm using my Xbox microphone right now to talk to my computer. So if the quality sucks, I'm really sorry. I'm trying. But um, I have two geckos that I'm going to be soaking today, Napoleon and Pedro. They are two of three of my geckos. Napoleon is my female gecko and Pedro is a male. The things you're going to need to soak your gecko is a container, some paper towels, a spray bottle, and some Q-tips. First thing you're going to do is take your container. I usually use a Critter Keeper from Petco or PetSmart just because they are a pretty good size for my geckos to comfortably sit in for a few minutes. And I'm going to get some paper towels and wet them down with some warm water. Since I am super smart, I spent 10 minutes just spraying the paper towels with warm water. I eventually gave up and just dumped water all over it. But if you would like to be more efficient and smarter than me, feel free just to hold your paper towels under the sink for a few seconds and warm them up that way. But, you know, you do you, whatever works. So once the paper towels are damp, you can cover all of the surfaces of the Critter Keeper with those paper towels so that your gecko is forced to be touching a paper towel the entire time they are soaking. After that is done, you can go ahead and place your gecko into the container, close the lid, obviously, and then I usually put a blanket or a towel over the container just to make it a darker space since these guys are nocturnal and more comfortable in the dark. I'm just going to be soaking Napoleon right now because Pedro does not know how to interact with women and she gets very offended when he is around. So he's just going to go sit in this little tea box for a little bit and explore while Napoleon gets her soak. But I usually soak her for about 5 to 10 minutes unless she is showing too many signs of stress. Signs of stress can include biting, loss of tail, firing up, which is just a significant darkening of color, pooping, or just trying to get out of the enclosure excessively. While she is soaking, here is some cute videos of Pedro in his tea box and just being his adorable self. Enjoy. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy those cute videos of Pedro because he's pretty amazing. But it has been about 10 minutes since I put Napoleon in the Critter Keeper. So I'm going to go ahead and take her out. And I'm going to grab these Q-tips and use them to wipe down her crests and her feet and the sides of her mouth. She usually opens the sides of her mouth whenever I am washing them off or kind of scrubbing off any shed that is on them because geckos if you put pressure on the side of their mouths will actually open it. So she's just displaying her teeth her lovely teeth right there for me. Anyways, I'm just kind of giving her feet and her crest some special attention since food and shed likes to get stuck on those parts of her body, but she's looking pretty good right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put her back in her enclosure. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is how I soak my crusty geckos. Make sure to go check out my Instagram, underscore my mini zoo, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks y'all for watching. Bye. <laughs>